Hello guys! Welcome back to my channel. In this session, we will study how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving division. Let us have here an example. But before that, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. Example number one. Solve the problem. Jonas bought two boxes of pizza. Each box contains eight slices. He wants to share it with his 32 friends. How much pizza did each of his friends eat? Now, let us first determine what is being asked. What is being asked is, how much pizza did each of his friends eat? And second, let us determine what are the given facts. The given facts are, there are two boxes of pizza and each box contains eight slices. Now, how we solve this? Ngayon, Alam na natin kung ano yung tinatanong at kung ano ang given. Now, if there are two boxes of pizza and each box contains eight slices, therefore, the two boxes contain 16 slices. Now, the 16 slices will be distributed to his 32 friends. What is the operation involved? The operation involved is division because the 16 slices of pizza will be divided to his 32 friends. The operation we will use is division. 16 divided by 32 cannot be. So, alam na natin ang rule na magdadagdag tayo ng decimal point at isang zero. Disregarding the decimal point, this will be 160. Disregarding the decimal point, no? 160 divided by 32 is 5. Ilagay muna natin ang decimal point sa katapat. Dito sa ating magiging quotient. 160 divided by 32 is 5. Doon natin siya ilalagay sa tapat ng 0. 5 times 32 is, or 5 times 2 is 10, carry 1. 5 times 3 is 15, plus 1 is 16. Again, disregarding the decimal point, this will be 160 minus 160 is equal to 0. The quotient 0.5 or 5 tenths is the share of its friend of Jonas. 0.5 is also equal to 5 tenths or this is also equal to 1 half. Bakit naging 1 half? 5 is divisible by 5. 10 is also divisible by 5. 5 divided by 5 is 1. 10 divided by 5 is 2. Therefore, 0.5 is equal to 1 half. The answer is, 1 half slice of pizza is eaten by each of Jonah's friends. Uh, let us have another example. Example number 2. At a department store, men's socks sell at 3 pairs for 97 pesos and 50 centavos. The same kind of socks are sold by sidewalk vendors at 6 pairs for 171 pesos, which is the cheaper buy. Now again, let us determine what is being asked. What is being asked is which is the cheaper buy and what are the given facts. 
The given facts are three pairs of socks cost 97 pesos and 50 centavos. And the six pairs cost 171 pesos na itinitinda ng sidewalk vendors. Again, we will determine the operation to be used in this problem. The operation to use is division. O ngayon, alam na natin na sa department store, yung 3 pairs ay nagkakahalaga ng 97 pesos and 50 centavos. Ngayon, i-determine natin magkano ang isang pares kung ang 3 pairs ay 97 pesos and 50 centavos. O, di-divide natin. 97.50 uh, Disregarding muna natin yung sign ng yung peso sign. 97.50 divide by 3. 9 divide by 3 is 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 9 minus 9 is 0. Bring down 7. 7 divide by 3. O decimal point muna. Tapat natin doon. So, sa katapat niya. Na 7 divide by 3 is 2. 2 times 3 is 6. Subtract. 7 minus 6 is 1. Bring down 5. 15 divided by 3 is 5. 5 times 3 is 15. O, meron pa siyang 15 minus 15 is equal to 0. Meron pa siyang isang 0. Bring down 0. 0 divided by 3 is 0. 0 times 3 is 0. So, 97.50 divided by 3 is 32.50 or 32 and 50 centavos or 32 pesos and 50 centavos. Now, yung isa naman na 6 pesos for 171 pesos na itinitinda ng sidewalk vendors. O, divide natin. 171 pesos Disregard muna natin yung peso sign divide by 6 para ma-determine natin kung magkano ang presyo ng bawat isang pares ng malaman natin kung alin sa dalawa ang mas mura kung kayo ang bibili. 1 divide by 6 cannot be. Isama natin ang 7. 17 divide by 6 is uh, 2. 2 times 6 is 12. Subtract. 17 minus 12 is 5. 5 divided by 6 cannot be. Bring down 1. 51 divided by 6 is 8. 8 times 6 is 48. Subtract. 51 minus 48 is 3. Uh, tapatan muna natin siya ng decimal point. 3 divided by 6 cannot be. Bring down 0. 30 divided by 6 is 5. 5 times 6 is 30. Subtract 0. May 0 pa doon. Baba natin. 0 divided by 6 is 0. So, 171 divided by 6 is 28.50. Lagyan na natin parehas ng peso sign. Uh, this is 28 pesos and 50 centavos. Uh, recap natin. Ang presyo ng tatlong pares ng SACS ay 97.50. Pag i-divide natin sa 3, ang bawat pares ay 32 pesos and 50 centavos. Sa, kabal sa kabila, 6 pairs cost 171 pesos. 171 divided by 6 para ma-determine natin kung magkano ang presyo sa bawat Uh, 28 pesos and 50 centavos bawat pares. Now, makikita na natin which is cheaper. 28 pesos and 50 centavos or 32 pesos and 50 centavos. O, kitang-kita natin na 28 pesos and 50 centavos is cheaper than 32 pesos and 50 centavos. So, this one is the cheaper buy. 28 pesos and 50 centavos is the cheaper buy. Ayan. Siguro, malinaw na ngayon. 
kids how to solve routine and non-routine problems involving division. Hanggang sa muli po nating pagkikita. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye!